Oh, well, hello everybody out there in Atlanta. It's Chris from HLX.com with another exciting episode of Topher's Log. This was supposed to be obviously on YouTube. Uh, and uh, YouTube, I guess, the last time that I did a live uh, feed uh, on YouTube, they have since uh, re, um, uh, redone their rules. All right, so there we go. Uh, so yeah, so the YouTube live thing, the last time I did YouTube live or used YouTube for for a live feed, uh, I guess they've they've since changed their... Uh, you know, their, um, uh, their rules or whatever. Uh, I would, you, in the past, you were able to do it through your phone. Uh, there was a thing where I know you couldn't do a live stream um, uh, for or through, um, uh, you know, if you didn't have like a certain number of, of, of subscribers or something like that, and then they, uh, they wouldn't let you live stream or whatever, but it is what it is. I hate the fact that Facebook flips the video around as well like it 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 does that weird thing where it's the mirror image i can't stand that um it annoys the crap out of me but anyway um so i wanted to do a little bit of a live uh chat um uh, i said i i was gonna take a little bit of, of a video break back in july um and uh so i still want to commit to doing a live chat i'm not going to do this for too long especially now that i'm frustrated because the technology fucking sucks uh, but it is what it is. So I hope everyone had a good 4th of July, uh, obviously, uh, under these certain circumstances that we find ourselves in, uh, in the current world. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, hopefully you all stayed safe. You didn't do any kind of crazy, uh, uh, crazy gatherings where, you know, things can go horribly wrong in two weeks, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so a little frustrated about the technology, but, um, uh, you know, uh, so, so there's that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the state of affairs, uh, as it, as it, uh, sits right now in terms of Horror Nights. Um, you know, uh, obviously there's the pandemic going on and, and, you know, things are getting canceled left and right. And there's so many things that, um, you know, uh, can happen here. Uh, in the coming weeks and months and, and whatnot. Um, I have some notes here that I wanted to address uh, quickly. Um, things that I wanted to to talk about. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to sort of discuss stuff like this because um, when it comes to the Horror Night situation and the COVID situation, there's a lot of, um, you know, very, very hard opinions on both sides about, you know, the event itself and, and should the event continue and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, there, there is a bunch of things that have already been canceled, uh, you know, around uh, Horror Nights time. A lot of haunts, um, you know, the most recent one, of course, was the, uh, the Dark Harbor and the Dark Horizons thing. The Dark Horizons thing doesn't surprise me a whole lot because Dark Horizons, I think, last year was... Uh, was kind of a disaster. Uh, I don't think it was the thing that they wanted to, uh, you know, the uh, it wasn't the thing that they wanted it to be, um, and it just kind of didn't work out. Um, the, the whole Queen Mary situation, like they were already in financial dire straits anyway, um, and I think this the just the pandemic thing just kind of um, escalated uh, the situation even farther. So that you know they had to they had to cancel. Uh, you know, it it is what it is. Um, I. There's a part of me right now that, uh, you know, I, I would, I, I don't, I, I personally don't think that Horror Nights should happen. Um, you know, there's, uh, I know, again, the, the debate is, is strong on either side. Um, I, I, I get it, but, um, I am, I, I don't want a castrated event. I don't want an event that's going to be, you know, uh, watered down. I don't want an event that's going to be hindered by, uh, all these rules and regulations where they can't fully live up to the potential that could be an event. But on the other hand, I do want the event because, you know, I, I, I love the event and I want the event to continue. Um, but, uh, you know, um, it is what it is. I mean, like there's, there, like I said, there's, there's strong opinions on both sides. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if the event continued. <laughs> you know, I know that that's, uh, that's, you know, one of the issues that, that people, you know, want to argue about. Uh, you know, I get it if they do want to continue. Um, but, uh, I personally wouldn't want an event that's sort of watered down, um, and, uh, you know, basically just castrated. Um, you know, there's, there's all sorts of, um, 
uh, I keep getting notifications now. <laughs> you go on Facebook Live one time and you get notifications. Uh, but uh, but but yeah. So uh, I, again, those people who are just joining me, sorry about the YouTube thing. Uh, apparently, YouTube uh, they sort of changed their policy the last time since the last time I did the the live chats on YouTube. Uh, I can no longer do them. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, here we are. Uh, so, um, so, so there's that, but, uh, I just, I started just, uh, seeing how everyone did, you know, hopefully everyone had a good 4th of July. Uh, we can start over, get backtrack. Everyone had a good 4th of July. Uh, hopefully everyone stayed, stayed safe. Uh, didn't do anything too stupid. Um, you know, uh, stayed in your homes or watched it on TV, or maybe you did fireworks at home on your, on your own. So, um, we were talking about, uh, the, the state of affairs when it comes to, to Horror Nights and about how things are getting canceled and, um, you know, should Horror Nights continue? Should it not continue? Um, I really don't want to get into too much of a debate on that, but like there's, um, you know, I, if you were to, like I, I said in a, in a video earlier in the year, if you were going to ask me today whether or not I think it's going to happen, um, I would say if you ask me today, I think, I think it, I think it is going to happen. I think it's going to happen, um, in a very watered down situation, but that's all dependent. Everything is changing so quickly and so rapidly these days. Um, you know, I, I there's, they are moving ahead full steam with, uh, you know, with, with doing the event. The event never stopped planning. The event never stopped, uh, you know, doing what it was doing. It's continuing as if the event was going to, you know, go on and continue. Um, so there's no, there's no qualms there, but the event is going to look different. The event's going to be going to look and feel very different from what, what it usually is. And that's not just because of the COVID situation, just because, things that they normally do are not going to be able to be done. Um, uh, whether, you know, that's a, a, a completely limited event, uh, whether that's, you know, allowing uh, no alcohol, you know, how that, how that affects, you know, it is what it is. There's a lot of uncertainty uh, when it comes to the event. And I personally just don't want a castrated uh, Halloween Horror Nights 30. Um, uh, it, but like I said before, that being said, if they were to do the event, I'd probably still go anyway. Um, you know, but, uh, how much I can get done, that's the other thing, how much people can get done at the event, how much you're going to be able to do, um, is sort of, uh, you know, very different, um, you know, than what we're used to. Um, I have a funny feeling that we're going to see more, uh, high profile event closures, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Horror Night event, or not Horror Night event, but Halloween event closures. Uh, uh, Hollywood is not looking so good, um, you know, and again, you, you, you talk about, you know, different amount, um, I don't really don't want to get into debate about it, but, uh, there's also the political mentality of it, you know, as well, you know, different, uh, different political governors and, and whatever. So, I mean, I, I don't know, like there's, I have a feeling that Hollywood, uh, is, is, is probably not going to, uh, move forward this year, uh, which is understandable. Um, but it's probably going to make uh, a lot of people angry. <laughs> probably make a lot of angry people out there. But like the one thing that like I I, I try not to you know I don't want to uh, I don't want to be I don't want to be selfish uh, in the in the uh, thinking either. Um, just because I want the event and I want the events to continue. Um, I think I think we all need to understand or 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 you know accept that there is a pandemic going on. So you know and and things. And, and, and there's that, that question that I think that people need to ask themselves as well is, do you want to, do you want the event to continue in a, in a castrated state? Do you want the event to go on in, in a state where, um, you know, you, you, you're not going to get the full experience? Um, you know, and I think the people behind the scenes have to ask themselves that question too, where do they want to, uh, to put it on, um, you know, is it even worth it? Is it, is it worth, um, you know, putting the event on, even though you're not going to, you're probably not going to have the, the sales that you think you're going to have, um, you know, and, and the, and the money coming in from the event, if it is such a cash rated event. Um, I don't, uh, I, I, I question that decision a little bit. Um, but like I said, still that being said, if they, if they were, if, if the event was still to continue, um, I probably would, would go. So, <laughs> so there's that, uh, that, that dueling mentality. So, um, it is what it is. But, uh, uh, but if you were, if, if I was in charge today, uh, I would, I would cancel the event. 
uh, I would cancel it or, or delay it. I was talking to somebody uh, the other day where I had said, um, you know, I jokingly was like, hey, you know, cancel it, you know, do it, do it in, in February. <laughs> Forget Mardi Gras, do it in February uh, when we have, you know, a vaccine in place, if there's a vaccine in place and whatnot. Um, and things are starting to get back to a little bit of normal, uh, uh, more normalcy than what they are, because this is not normal. I don't care what anybody says. Like, it's nice that things are open uh, and you can go places, but it's not normal. We're not at a normal, you know, you, 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 there's still, you know, it's not normal. <laughs> so when things start to get a little bit back to normal, uh, you know, put it on, you know, sometime in the spring or next year. And hell, do two events next year. <laughs> do one in the spring and then do one in the fall. I don't know, uh, you know. I'm not, uh, that, that's why, that's why I'm not in charge. So, but, um, uh, but I, I, there's, there really is a part of me that, that, you know, I'm like, just, just, just cancel it. Just, just put it on hold, cancel it. Uh, you know, let it, let it run its course because I really don't want a cash rate event. I don't, I, I don't want an event that's going to be watered down. I don't want an event that, uh, that's not going to look the way that it should look, especially for, for our 30th anniversary. And I know that's a very controversial opinion. I know people are going to hate me for it, but, um, but it is what it is. Uh, I just, I just don't, uh, I, I do not want an event. Um, that's not going to look like it usually does. Um, because it's not even going to be, it's not even going to be the, it, you know, the event's not even going to look like it usually does. It's going to be very, uh, you know, even far from that. You're, you're probably talking about something that's going to look very dystopian, um, you know, in the way that they present it. And, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, and when it comes to like ticket sales and how many people you let in and, and the whole, uh, you know, capacity issue, like what, what does that look like? Um, what kind of tickets do you sell? Um, based on the stuff that I've heard from behind the scenes, um, I, I, I don't want this event. I don't want it to look like the way it does. I don't want it to, um, to be what it will be. I just don't. Uh, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, and like I said, I know that that is a very controversial opinion, especially amongst the Horror Nights people, but um, I just I just don't want it. I don't want that event. Um, I would rather wait um, until things are better. Um, and whether that is five months from now or a year from now, um, I think we could all live, uh, you know, with, with having, having things uh, slow down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> here uh, until things are a lot better uh, but uh, but I am not in charge and uh, you know um, I have a feeling that they're going to try to charge through it anyway uh, you know but like I said there's I, I do not believe that Hollywood is going to have an event this year I think Hollywood's event is going to be canceled um, I think that um, uh, I just think that that's not going to happen um, and uh, do you want people like really traveling uh, from out of state uh, or, or overseas to, you know, descending upon Orlando, uh, you know, to, to, to do the event. I don't know if I want that, you know, um, cause right now, like if you, even if you go to the parks, I mean, the parks are, uh, are basically, um, you know, it's, it's basically locals. I mean, there's, there's some, you know, obviously people that are not from here, but for the most part, it's basically all locals. So, you know, but like, I mean, do you really want to try to 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 do the event, um, and and to have people travel here? Like, I, I I don't know. To me, that just that just opens up a whole other conversation can of worms uh, about safety and stuff like that. And I don't know if if you really want that. So I don't know. But besides that, uh, you know, with all this stuff, um, obviously things are. Disney is trudging forward. They're going to reopen still uh, on the 11th. So, uh, so there's that. The 11th, I believe, the other parks open on the, on the 13th. So that is still happening. Uh, obviously, Universal's open. Uh, you know, uh, so there's that. Um, you know, things are open. Uh, I, I get it. But Horror Nights is a different beast, and you know, it's not daytime operation. There's there's a difference. Uh, between the daytime operation and the nighttime operation um, and what they do for Horror Nights. So, um, you know, I don't know. That's just me. But let's move on from the, from the potential closures. Uh, you know, um, like I said, uh, I do believe they're going to try to trudge forward in Orlando, but um, 
I don't know. There's, I'm very conflicted internally on, on the whole situation. I don't know um, if, um, if it should move forward, and I don't really want the event to be castrated, but I would still go. <laughs> so so there's, that, uh, there's that whole conundrum. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to move on from that. Um, I, I, I've been, I've been, uh, asked a, a lot uh, since I stopped doing the videos, uh, last month, uh, about addressing the spec map. I'm not going to address the spec map, uh, um, again. Um, I did a video a while ago, um, this year where I, I, uh, said I don't address the spec map, so I'm not going to address the spec map here either. So, um, so there's that. So we're moving on from that, but so with all the, uh, uh, the, the stuff about cancellations and stuff like that, uh, like I said before, Horror Nights still trudges along like it's going to happen. And we actually had hotel packages go on sale, hotel and ticket packages. So you can buy, uh, you can get hotel package, you can get uh, ticket packages along with that. Those are on sale. Um, the BOGO is still on sale. Um, I believe it was at the 22nd, I think it ends. Uh, so that that's still on sale. You can still buy those. Uh, there are no other tickets currently on sale uh, at the moment. Uh, if you were overseas uh, person, uh, somebody across the pond, obviously certain tickets have been on sale for you guys for a while. Um, uh, you know, frequent fear passes have been on sale. Frequent fear, frequent fear pass plus has been on sale uh, for people across the pond. Um, I know people that have actually bought them already. Um, and bought them months ago. <laughs> so, because um, that's the other thing, like I mentioned earlier, what kind of event do you put on? Uh, you know, what kind of tickets do you sell? Um, you know, how limited are the tickets? Um, if I was a betting man, uh, I think that, uh, uh, I think the event, uh, if it continues, uh, it sells tickets, uh, they sell single day tickets, and they sell frequent fear pass, frequent fear plus, I think is the only tickets you're going to get this year. Um, and they're going to be very limited. Uh, so, uh, good luck trying to, it's going to be like the Hunger Games, trying to get tickets, I think, this year, uh, if the event continues. Um, we know that, uh, obviously, they have, uh, they've done um, uh, uh, auditions. Uh, some people are getting their, uh, their casting decisions, the, you know, the, uh, the notification that they've been cast. Um, but, uh, I also believe that auditions are not going to be starting, or excuse me, um, uh, rehearsals. Uh, won't be starting uh, for quite a while. Um, I think four weeks or four to six weeks or something like that. Like that, that tells me that what they're, they are really trying to um, wait as long as possible <laughs> for them to, to pull the trigger on the event here uh, uh, in, in Orlando. Um, you know, again, it's just, it's like, you know, uh, why at that point, why even, you know, why even do it? you know, just, just hold off. Uh, but, uh, but I think that's what the case is, is that they're just, uh, and for as long as the case is, I think here in Florida, as long as they keep going up, uh, I don't think you're going to hear anything. I think everything is going to be quiet. Uh, you know, I don't think they're going to announce a house, the full house lineup, uh, or even tickets for that matter. I don't know if you're going to get tickets either. Um, maybe, but, uh, I mean, obviously they announced the hotel and ticket packages, but and that was a couple of days ago. Now everything is like we're breaking records and stuff like that here in the state of Florida. So, you know, I, I have I have a feeling that until the cases start to go down, if they go down, uh, you know, you're not going to hear anything uh, official, I don't think, from 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 Horror Nights um, unless they decide to cancel. <laughs> I, think, I think that's going to be the case uh, for, for a while. That's just my own personal opinion. Uh, you know, I just, I have a feeling that that's where we're headed. I think that they're going to wait uh, to, for as long as possible, uh, for as long as they conceivably can uh, before they make any kind of an official uh, statement or announcement or whatever. Hollywood might be a different situation. Uh, I, I, I have a feeling you might be hearing a little bit of something official sooner, but um, I'm just speculating. So <laughs> is that... Uh, there's that. One of the other things that I, I forgot to mention um, when it comes to the whole um, uh, possibility of Horror Nights getting canceled, uh, you know, with the skyrocketing of cases, um, you know, because, I mean, the event is like two months away. I mean, it, it starts on September 10th. We're like two months away from the event. So let's say between now uh, and then cases, you know, stay high. 
um, you know, maybe even go higher. Um, uh, what if the city of Orlando imposes, a, imposes another curfew? Uh, if there's a curfew uh, to sort of curb the spread, there's no Horror Nights. So, you know, I think, I think some people aren't thinking about that aspect either. Um, we know that Miami-Dade has, has just re-implemented a curfew uh, down there in South Florida. So, um, yeah, what if that happens? If that happens, obviously there's no Horror Nights if there's a curfew. So, <laughs> no after hours event, uh, you know, if, if that's the case. So, you know, again, do you want to, do you want to continue? Do you want to put the event on like it's, like it's coming and then all of a sudden you have the rug pulled out from under you because the city of Orlando or the county, the Orange County puts a curfew in effect uh, to sort of, you know, curb the spread of the virus uh, again? I don't know. I uh, just, that's one of those, I don't want to be in those leadership situations right now because, because it's not just about, for me, it's not just about like the, the economic uh, part of it either. It's about uh, people's jobs. I mean, if you, cl you keep closing things down, uh, you, know, uh, you know, people, people are not working again. And, you know, there's all this, you know, it, it creates like a, a, a whole whirlwind of, of crap that, you know, it's like, and it's a, it's a shitty situation because it is, it's, it is a global pandemic going on. So, you know, so there is that, but, um, uh, but, but I think one of my biggest fears is that that does happen is that, you know, the event, uh, goes and it, and it, you know, in whatever castrated state that it is, um, and, uh, the county or the city implements a curfew and then the event can't happen, uh, still because there's a fucking curfew in effect. So, you know, that, that to me, you know, because that's, that's entirely conceivable. It's entirely conceivable that we could be headed for another uh, sort of semi-lockdown type situation where there are curfews in effect where you can't, uh, you know, to sort of curb that, to curb the spread again. Um, you know, that is entirely possible. And, you know, uh, again, until there's, until there's treatments or a vaccine in place, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff is going to be... Um, uh, oh, I got comments. Sorry, guys. I haven't been looking at the comments. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Let's see. Um, uh, you know, I, 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 I get it. Um, you know, and it's, it's not, I'm not saying, the, 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 the thing is, is that I'm not saying that the event should or should not happen. I feel that the event in, its, in the state that it will be happening, I don't think is worth it. <laughs> I just don't think that that is worth it at that point. Um, you know, whether, like I said, whether it's, you know, cause you're not going to get scare zones the way that you, the way that we're used to. You're not going to, houses are not going to be what you think they're going to be. Uh, it might be cooler because you're going to have, you know, things that are, uh, you know, uh, pulsed or whatever, but the houses aren't going to be what, what they're, what they are. The event is going to be, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, and cool. You you have less people at the event. That's fine. Uh, that's the always. I mean, that's the way it is at the parks too. I mean, it's it's actually kind of nice <laughs> to go down to the parks um, and not have a crowd there. You know, uh, not have people down there. But it's not the same. That's that's the thing. Is that, like I said earlier, things are open, but it's not the same. It's not normal. You know, and I don't want. I don't want the event to be in that way. I just, I just don't, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't, my, my selfish place doesn't want, but at the same time, if they still had it, I'd probably still go. So <laughs> let's, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, you know, so it is that. I feel bad for people who live overseas or who are, you know, uh, international uh, people, um, you know, because they, I, I don't know what that's going to look like in four months, uh, two months from now. Uh, I, I keep forgetting we're like two months away from the event, but uh, I don't know what that entire situation could look like. Uh, you know, r right now, you know, uh, America's like banned from going to Europe because, <laughs> because of all of our cases. Who knows? It might be the same on the opposite side. I don't know. But, uh, you know, that, that to me is kind of funny. Uh, you know, people uh, is it from Canada. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I, I, it's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, because who knows? I mean, that that's the thing. But this this whole situation is that a lot of it is kind of a fly by your seat of your pants uh, right now. You know, everything is changing on a constant basis. Um, and I and I don't. I I truly believe that as long as the cases in Florida keep rising, 
and stay up, I don't know how you can justify putting the event on. I just don't know how you can do that. I think that's, if you, if, especially if Hollywood cancels, if Hollywood cancels their event, which, um, which I think they will, uh, you know, I, I, I agree. I mean, like, you know, what, at that point, because that's the other thing is that what, what do you charge? What do you charge for? There's, there's some things that I've heard that, that are going to happen for the event. Um, that will solve that problem for a lot of people. I'm not going to say what that is. If they continue, if they do what, what I was told, um, in terms of the prices, uh, for the tickets, uh, which opens up a whole nother can of worms, which I won't get into until that's officially, or there's official word on that or whatever. I'm not going to talk about that, but, but there is, there is something that is, that is, uh, supposedly, let me, let me put that in quotes, uh, in the works that could, uh, curb the, the ticket price problem. Um, if, if that is the case. When it comes to actual tickets, when it comes to buying like a daytime ticket or a frequent fare pass or whatever, do you still charge that same amount? Um, I don't think so. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you can. You cannot justify uh, uh, charging that amount. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, uh, especially with the event in the state that it would be. Um, uh, and, and, you know, I, I know that a lot of people, there, there are a lot of people out there who, uh, when it comes to the alcohol situation, a lot of people that, uh, you know, want to like, oh, yes, finally no alcohol or whatever. Uh, I partake in drinks at Horror Nights. I, I would not want to, uh, to go if I, if I can't partake in a drink um, here or there. But I, I get the, the no alcohol thing because of the mask situation. Because, you know, Horror Nights, it's, it's part of, you know, for some people, it's kind of part of the... Uh, uh, it's part of the experience. It's part of going to Horror Nights. You grab a drink, you walk around, uh, you know, but that is, that is not going to be the case. <laughs> I mean, if, if they do, uh, if they do implement the no alcohol policy this year, um, it makes sense because they don't want people, you know, pulling their masks down and, and, you know, drinking and walking around with, with the no masks and, and, you know, drinking, drinking all across the park. Um, that makes sense to me. Um, you know, but at, on the other hand, we've been down the no alcohol road before, uh, and that lasted, uh, all of like two days <laughs> when they realized how much money they were losing on, on, on the whole alcohol thing. Uh, whether or not, uh, I, I, I have a feeling that that might, you know, if that is one of the things that they are planning, um, a part of me believes that that will be reversed. I think you will have... I don't think Finnegan's will be open. I don't think you'll have um, the bars, uh, you know, uh, set up like you used to have. You might have food, uh, but the the bar tent situation might be completely different. Um, you might have the only your only chance at maybe grabbing a, an adult beverage will be going to one of the um, uh, the stands that are like open during the day uh, that serve the alcohol that serve the beer. But it wouldn't surprise me. If you don't have anything like a, you know, like a full bar or something like that, like that would not surprise me, um, you know, but again, it's, you know, how do you, how do you kind of enforce it? I guess it'll be easier, uh, you know, with, with the event, if, if there was like, a, uh, you know, less people there, uh, it'll be easier to enforce the rule, uh, you know, than it would be if there was, you know, full packed, uh, stadium worth of people. Uh, or uh, a you know, theme park worth of people, but um, um, I don't believe that if if they were to do that, that it would be sustainable. I think I think that they would have to serve some kind of uh, adult beverage, um, and you know don't 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 hate on people because they enjoy an adult beverage at Halloween Horror Nights. I hate people like that. <laughs> like let's not let's not uh, let profile people. Who enjoy who who enjoy to have a beer at Halloween Horror Nights or two or maybe even three if you're not driving, uh, you know let's not you know, come on, <laughs> let's not play that game, especially during a global pandemic. If I'm gonna go to Horror Nights during a global pandemic, and the event's gonna be this castrated thing that's gonna make me sad, I'm gonna want a beer, <laughs> maybe two. So 
let's not uh, let's not let's not do that. Uh, but uh, but it is what it is. But that's sort of some of the scuttlebutt uh, that's been floating around out there. Not going to confirm nor deny anything, but that's one of the uh, one of the scuttlebutt things. Um, I don't know how they would even continue with that. Uh, it, it is what it is. But again, it goes back to the whole cash rated event thing. Like, I don't really want a cash rated event. Uh, you know, d- d- just at that point, just just sh- shut it all down. Don't and just wait. We we all could just wait. I know everyone's impatient and they want things to do. Parks are open during the day. You know, uh, at least for the time being, the parks are still open during the day. So even if there is no Horror Nights, go down to the park. You know, you can still go down to the park if you live in the area. Again, I apologize to the people who are not, you know, don't live here uh, and people who are overseas. Um, but, um, you know, uh, it is what it is. But there are probably local places around you guys, too, uh, that maybe by the time we get to, uh, to the spooky season here, uh, maybe they'll do some things, um, especially for places that that are in America right now, uh, you know, maybe you'll have some, some more options, uh, you know, uh, out there overseas. Um, you know, I don't know. There's just, again, there's just so much uncertainty right now. Um, I just don't know. I wanted to keep this thing short. Where am I at now? Oh, I'm already at a half an hour. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but there's just, there's so many, there's so much uncertainty. Uh, there's, there's so much uncertainty right now that I just, I just don't know, you know, I don't know. Um, just don't do it. Let's just, let's just all wait. Let's all be patient little bees and wait. Um, cause uh, the other, cause the other side of me, side of this too, is that again, don't want to get into a political argument, but the all the, the other side of me is, you know, I think that, you know, people need to go out people. I mean, you know, I'm not saying, you know, open the movie theaters or whatever. But I'm saying people need options to, to, to do things uh, safely. People need options to do things. Um, you know, I, I frequent, um, there's a place across the street that I go to all the time. Um, and I haven't been to that place because it's a bar. <laughs> I don't feel safe in a bar. So I'm not going to go to a bar, uh, you know, at this point in time. Uh, when it comes to Universal, I actually feel very safe at Universal. Universal has done, and it's out in the open. I'm out. I'm out in the air. I'm not, and I can I can move past people if I have to move past people, um, if I don't feel comfortable. Um, but for the most part, Universal has done a fantastic job, uh, you know, trying to uh, adhere to the decisions. But like I, like I said, I think people need to be able to do things, um, you know. Uh, as little as as they are, uh, and do things safely. I would not go to a bar. Don't go to a bar. Stay out of the bars. Uh, you can you can create your own bar in your house. Go buy go buy a twelve pack, and create your own bar in your house. Don't go to a bar, um, uh, unless they if they have if the bar offers like curbside stuff like that, and you want to support the, your local bar, then do that. But don't go inside. Like don't congregate inside or whatever. I think that's a little. Um, not right for the times, <laughs> but if you do it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like you know chastise you for doing it. I don't care, but I'm saying like for me personally, um, you know, I don't feel comfortable going to a bar, so you know the place across the street from my house, like I haven't, I haven't been there, you know. Um, uh, I take the back. I went for 15 minutes back in March when they or whenever it was um, uh, when they reopened. I went in. I had one beer. Paid like a twenty dollar tip and left. <laughs> I haven't been back since. Uh, so that was that was back when they first reopened here uh, uh, in Florida. Uh, but um, uh, you know, but don't don't go to the bars. Let's not go to the bars. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Uh, close quarters like that. I don't know. I, I just I wouldn't feel good. even like you know staying at a hotel to me is weird because uh, I have all of my vacation time uh, that I that I usually take at work is around Horror Nights. I, I take vacation specifically around that time of year. Um, so I have uh, the first week off, I, the opening weekend, and then the week after that. Um, and then I have vacation the week of Halloween. And the week of Halloween, I usually stay on site. Or the last couple of years, like I've been staying on site. Probably not going to do that this year. <laughs> like if the event still continues, probably won't do that. <laughs> probably won't stay on site. I don't feel comfortable uh, staying on staying on site right now. Um, uh, that being said, I think that there is also a balance. Um, I know some people who are going down to the theme parks and are like 
you know, doing update videos, but they won't like go into the buildings and they won't like, you know, get food or whatever. Like, you know, that, that to me is kind of a, kind of a little over the top, but, um, you know, take your food and go, just go or your food, go sit by the lagoon and eat your food. You don't have to eat inside. Uh, but you know, take your food and go. They have like all the restaurants. I think or most of the restaurants at Universal do the mobile ordering thing anyway. Um, so you can just, you know, get your food and go somewhere else. <laughs> um, or, or get, I, I have personally been on some of the attractions. Like I did born, uh, when it was in its technical rehearsal, I have to watch it again. That's also on my notes, uh, of things to talk about. Uh, born I, I did in the technical rehearsal, uh, but it broke down the two times that I saw it. Uh, one time we had to be ushered out of the theater, uh, when it, when it stopped. Uh, and then the other time they, they, the show stopped, but they weren't doing like fire effects and stuff like that. So it was kind of a broken, uh, representation of the show. So I have to, I, uh, go back and watch the full show now that it's, uh, officially open. It opens on June 30th. Uh, it's a great show uh, if you get a chance at some point, uh, whether that's this year or next year, uh, check it out. Uh, it's a good show. Um, of course, uh, we'll, we'll move on from the COVID Hornets topics because, like, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to dwell on it too much. Uh, you know, I've already dwelled on it for half an hour, and I, and I told myself it's in my notes. <laughs> Do not talk about it for too long. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. So we're we're gonna move on. Uh, Born uh, opened. It's a good show. You should see it. Uh, talk about the um, uh, uh, the Jurassic Park coaster, the the coaster that uh, the not coaster coaster that's being built uh, down there in uh, in, in uh, uh, Iowa. Obviously, during quarantine, uh, when the parks were closed, uh, Universal continued. Uh, they they never stopped doing construction, which is why going back to Horror Nights. You know, they, they, the houses were, the houses have basically been done for the last two months or so, a month and a half. Uh, and with the, with the roller coaster, uh, you know, we all went away. And then when we came back, it was like, holy shit, like, <laughs> where'd all this stuff come from? Uh, the, the coaster, uh, the coaster moves on. It looks like they're, they've just added, uh, things, uh, like the, the Raptor paddock stuff, uh, the little, control tower, watchtower type thing over the paddock. Like that thing's been added. Uh, I'll, I, I'll probably be back down there um, on Wednesday for a couple hours. The other thing, when I go down there, I try not to spend too much time down there. Like I'm there for a couple hours and I go home, um, you know, trying to limit my exposure down there. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, but the coaster's there. Uh, I heard some talk this week too about the MIB tent. Um, people seem to always want to people are very confused about the MIB tent um, and it comes up every year and it comes up in multiple, uh, multiple conversations. The MIB tent since its inception uh, is comes down every year, uh, whether that's in, in, in late November or early December, uh, the tent comes down every year. And when it was uh, first used back in 2016, um, the tent was put back up in like March uh, of the next year. The past two years, the tent has been taken down uh, in November and December and then put back up in February because they've, they've just been starting earlier, uh, with, with, uh, uh, doing, uh, prepping for Horror Nights. Um, this past year was no exception. The, the, the tent came down in December, uh, and it was put back up in February. Uh, but there are other people out there who every time they pass by the damn thing, um, like to, uh, question whether or not they keep the tent up all year or whatever. The tent is, that tent is not kept up all year. It just isn't. Uh, it's taken down, uh, every year. Um, the, the sprung tents, uh, I did an article about this a couple of years ago. The sprung tents, uh, are there, there, those are designed to be permanent structures. Those are designed to be kept up all the time. The MIB tent is not a permanent structure. That's it's literally uh, like a wedding tent. What they do is they reinforce uh, underneath so that it's more of a stable structure. And they have the, um, the last couple of years, I think back in 2018, I think they put that slab, there's a, a permanent concrete, concrete slab that they put the tent over now. Uh, but that tent is not designed to be kept up all year, especially in Florida. That tent is not gonna, not gonna, not gonna last if you keep it up all year, uh, with the storms and shit like that that we have. Um, uh, 
but that tent comes down every year and it goes up every year. Uh, nothing is going on over there currently um, on the on the outside. Uh, when I was there last week, I heard what sounded like them working back there, uh, but I'm not sure uh, if what I heard was uh, the tent inside the tent or if it was stuff that was going on in the uh, Fear Factor Live stage. Which right now, the the lobby there is no Fear Factor Live going on. Uh, maybe this is the death nail <laughs> Fear Factor Live. <laughs> maybe this is the uh, maybe that it's been rumored to close for a while. Maybe this is finally finally the death nail uh, for for fair. It sucks for the actors, of course, but uh, and the people who work that show. Uh, but maybe uh, maybe this is you know because I know fans don't like the the Fear Factor Live show. Uh, but maybe maybe this is it. Maybe the Fear Factor Live show finally ends after this. I don't know. But that uh, the front part of uh, Fear Factor Live is where one of the U rest areas are. Uh, there are areas around the park where you can take off your mask. Um, and not get into trouble. Uh, that is one of the areas. Um, so there's no shows going on there. But what I what I heard sounded like uh, stuff being worked on. I'll put it to you that way. And I think it was coming from from the MIB tent. Uh, but there's nothing to see on the outside. You cannot. You, there's also nothing to see on the sprung tent side uh, as of now. You can't see anything um, outside. Uh, you know, for facades and stuff like that. That's not. Uh, that is not a thing. Uh, but yeah, so, so there's that. But anyway, so the, the MIB tent, again, it, it, it goes down and it comes up every year. Uh, can we, can we stop questioning whether that happens, please? Because it happens every year. <laughs> it's been happening since 2016. Let's not, let's, let's stop questioning that, please. Um, uh, because it is what it is. Uh, so, so there's that. But there's nothing going on over there. I heard some chatter this week about, you know, because I think people were confused because they saw the tent. And it was like, oh my God, there's the, the tent has been there. Tent's been there since February. <laughs> so before they put it up, before everything shut down, uh, I believe it was like the last, the two weeks or three weeks before everything shut down, the tent was put put uh, put back up. So, uh, so so there's that. But anyway, um, I was going to I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, I was going to uh, talk about you know I said that I had my own event that I had um, created. Uh, or, you know, cause I, I've said before in the past, like I, I constantly write my own things, my own houses and streets and whatever. Um, and I had said that I was going to reveal uh, my event this year if Horror Nights was canceled, um, just to give people some, um, uh, some fun uh, you know, before Horn Heights and if, and if it is canceled, um, I, I was planning on doing that during these videos, during, during, during the live stream here, uh, on YouTube. Um, I think I'm going to wait. I'll wait and hold off until next week. Um, until I do, uh, I'll do a, a regular video <laughs> next week because I hate technology and technology never wants to, uh, cooperate with me, uh, ever. Um, and I did not know about the new YouTube rule. So, so there's that, but, um, it is what it is, but I think that's going to go for the three people that are watching right now. Do you have any questions? <laughs> when I do these live things, I don't care if people watch me or not, because it'll go up on my YouTube channel later anyway. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, is there anything that is, does anybody want to discuss anything before I go? Um, I think, I think I've already covered, I think I've made my feelings on the event clear. Um, uh, I, I, like I said, I don't want to get on either side of that fence. I don't want to get on the side of yes, close everything down. Yes, don't do it. Um, or yes, do it, whatever. I just, I kind of feel in the middle about it. I think that, um, I think they will still do it. And I think it'll be a very castrated event if they do it. Um, and I would not want to go to it, but if it is there, I will probably go. <laughs> I'm not going to kid myself <laughs> and say that I won't go because I'll probably go. <laughs> but, um, uh, and that's if I can get in. You know, who knows with the ticket situation, if, if uh, you know, how limited the event is. But I don't see any questions. Uh, but anyway, so that's it, guys. Um, as far as videos go for the rest of the year, um, Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying earlier. I don't, the, the, 
the people, I feel bad for the people who are not from this country <laughs> because, um, cause I know that like, I know people have already bought tickets and I know that there are people, I know people have already, uh, sp specifically people from, from the UK and whatnot, they have already bought, you know, hotels and they've had to cancel those. Um, and I know people have already, uh, bought, uh, tickets, bought physical tickets. Like I said, frequent fair pass, um, has been on sale, um, for a while. Uh, over there <laughs> across the pond. Uh, and I know people have bought bought those tickets as well, as well as the BOGOs. But I don't think, th I don't think that by September you're going to be able to come here uh, or come here safely. I don't know what this, what the current, I am petrified to fly. One of my biggest fears in life is flying. So I do not pay attention <laughs> much to the airline industry uh, and what, what happens there. Uh, you know, so I don't know what the current situation is when it comes to flying, especially, uh, flying internationally. I know that we have, uh, was it American airlines or who are, I don't even know. I was talking, I had a conversation with somebody the other day about airlines and I had no idea that one airline had been, uh, defunct for years. <laughs> I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> no idea. Cause I don't pay attention to the airlines, uh, the airlines at all. Uh, because I have, I have a fear of flying and even just, just talking about airlines sometimes gives me anxiety, but, um, uh, I don't know what the current situation is and I don't know if the situation is going to get any better by September. So, um, especially here in the States. Uh, but, but again, I don't want to get on either, either side of the argument. I don't want to get on, I'm just, I'm just saying what I feel. Um, I do feel, uh, uh, like I started this thing. I do feel that Hollywood is going to cancel. Um, that is what I, that's based on my current chatter. I think that Hollywood probably going to cancel. Um, and I think Orlando might try to trudge forward, but I think that they're going to wait as long as humanly possible before they make any kind of an announcement for anything. You might get tickets go on sale because that's easy. You just, you know, you just refund those tickets, but, um, I don't know. I just, I just, I feel that, I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, get, I'm done with that argument, but, um, but it is what it is. But anyway, thanks for, for the Facebook thing. Uh, wasn't, uh, I know that the, uh, again, try to do the YouTube thing. It didn't work. Well, that's what I was saying before. You know, I, I, I said, you know, cancel the event, this, uh, and, and I was joking with somebody uh, outside my circle, cancel the event in the fall do two events next year. Keep every, keep whatever they can up, uh, currently. Um, and then maybe in February, March, <laughs> you know, maybe don't do Mardi Gras this year. Fucking do, do like a Horror Nights, like 30.5 or 29.5, uh, in March, uh, when some of this stuff hopefully has died down enough that we can do things again that, uh, without the risk of, uh, you know, uh, COVID as bad as it is now, because I have horrible news for everybody out there. This thing is going to be with us for a while, probably for the next two years, one or two years, not as bad as it is now. If we have, you know, vaccines and treatments in place, but it is still going to be with us. So until we have something in like a, like a vaccine or some kind of treatment in place, where we can uh, handle the the virus, um, uh, I think you wait a little bit. Hope, like I said, hopefully by February, March of next year, we'll have the, some of that stuff in place, and we won't have to worry as much. Um, so do like a, a Horror Nights twenty nine point five in March. Uh, don't do Mardi Gras uh, because that could be a little bit more. Uh, hard to, uh, to sort of, uh, pull off, uh, even, even with the vaccine and stuff like that in place, do the, I don't know, do, do, do like do that and then do another one in the fall, do like an actual Horror Nights 30 in the fall. I don't know. Uh, but I think that, I think September, I think that's pushing it. I think that's a little, at, if you were to ask me today, I think that's a little, a little much of a stretch. Um, I don't care. Uh, I've heard arguments from people about, uh, well, they have everything built, so they're going to do it anyway. That is not an excuse. 
<laughs> that in, in the current climate, that is not an excuse. They can pull the plug, and 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 I have a feeling they will. But uh, but they're going to wait until they're absolutely sure whether they're going to do it or not. Uh, but just because they have everything up doesn't mean they can't they can't pull the plug. Nothing is filming right now. Things are still closed. There, I, I would, I highly doubt that the sound stages that are there that currently have houses in them have to be used in five months. Uh, there's nothing happening right now, so they can probably keep those up. Uh, I think the, uh, uh, I think the, um, um, the parade buildings are fine. Uh, the only one that I would probably question is maybe the old parade building and the MIB tent. I don't think you can keep those up. But all the other ones, I think, are fine. To you can, there's nothing that I can see that can get in the way right now. I don't know. I don't know what their books look like, but I don't think those are going to happen anytime soon. So, um, you know, just keep them up and then do it. In, do it in February and March, you know, and have like a, an event in between another event. I don't know. That's just me. But anyway, uh, so that's it. So uh, what I was to say about the videos. Um, uh, I don't know how I'm going to move forward with the Topher's Logs this year. I may or may not do videos uh, on a regular schedule. Um, uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, I will try to do next week. I might do a video. That, and it also depends on announcements. If things are announced, then I'll do a video on the announcement. You know, uh, it is what it is. But um, uh, in terms of speculation content i think i'm done with speculation content for the year um because i am not on i'm not in that mindset right now i'm not in the hornite speculation mindset <laughs> so um you know at this point i'm like if the event happens it happens uh and i and i uh i already know what's coming uh, i know that i've said in the past that i try to do the tofers logs without the knowledge of what's coming but uh, once again, that's failed miserably. So, uh, and I kind of, the beans were spilled to me pretty early on again this year. So, you know, um, it is what it is. But, um, uh, but, it, but I, I'm kind of not in the speculation, in the speculation mindset anymore, um, especially with all the stuff going on. So I'm not sure how I will proceed. I have some history uh, videos that I want to make, uh, some videos about, uh, you know, the event itself. Um, so those will probably come, but they probably won't be on the same every Sunday upload schedule that I've been doing for the past two years or have tried to hit for the past two years, uh, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do the live video because uh, I, I just, I, I didn't feel like editing a video. Uh, so, uh, so, so, so there's that, but of course, technology is always my enemy. So, uh, so that, that became an issue, but <laughs> so I don't know, uh, but uh, I will still be doing stuff like you can still follow me on Twitter uh, I've still been going down to the parks. I've been doing my construction updates and stuff like that uh, on Twitter. You can still uh, follow me there if you choose. I know I say this all the time. I neglect the Facebook page. <laughs> I, I I always forget to upload stuff to the Facebook page. Um, you know, it's just it's uh, Twitter uh, for me. Even though it is a cesspool of human beings. Uh, it is uh, much easier, uh, and for whatever reason, when I pull out my phone, it's the first thing that I that I that I upload to is Twitter, and I always forget uh, to upload to Facebook um, and and to uh, to uh, address the Facebook fans that I have out there. So um, uh, I apologize for that, but hey, you guys got an impromptu live video for me on Facebook today, so uh, it kind of threw me for a loop. I had uh, all sorts of stuff planned out for the YouTube thing, and it just kind of threw me for a loop. So uh, so it is what it is, but. Um, uh, so there is that, uh, but yeah, so as far as the videos go, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, uh, I do want to try to do, uh, the video with the, my event thing. Oh, fuck. You know what? For those three people that are still watching, if you're still watching, I will reveal one of my houses to you right now. What time is it? Two o'clock. I've talked for over an hour. Uh, so uh, my, my event has 10 houses, five scare zones, and one show. Um, I was going to reveal two houses, but I'll do one. Um, we'll go with the original house. Um, so the first original house in my event is called Disco Hellferno. Now, I can't take the credit for the name. 
a couple years ago, I was talking to a friend of mine and um, he sort of, we were bouncing around ideas and uh, he sort of threw out the name Hellferno. We were talking about the concept and whatnot and he sort of threw out that name so I cannot take credit for that name. But the name of the house is called Disco Hellferno. The concept behind it is uh, there is a warehouse that has been retrofitted uh, into a retro uh, disco roller skating rink. And um, unbeknownst to the people that built the disco rink, underneath is a cave of nesting vampires who do not like the fact that they are being disturbed and come up and run amok uh, to the patrons at the retro disco tech. Um, one of the driving forces behind uh, this concept was the tagline Disco Sucks. Uh, that's kind of where the idea for the vampires came in. Um, the sort of uh, the, the layout that I had in mind uh, was you go, you enter through the front, uh, you know, maybe the, pay, the guy behind, uh, the guy taking your money uh, has been attacked by one of these vampires. Uh, and that's one of your first jump scares, you know, in the booth or whatever. Uh, you go through the disco and the discos uh, run amok. You sort of end up uh, in the caves. Uh, at the end, and that's kind of where um, the house sort of ends. Won't go into too many, too much detail because uh, you know people like to steal ideas. I'm not saying that my idea is the best thing in the world, uh, but um, wouldn't surprise me if, like, two years from now, we have uh, a disco-themed vampire skating roller rink house somewhere. <laughs> uh, if it hasn't already been done already, I don't know. Uh, but that's kind of that's kind of uh, that is the first house. Um, for if I was to put on the event, so Disco Hellferno, um, I, I I did sort of key art for them, but they're not very good, so I'm not going to share those. <laughs> um, uh, so Disco Hellferno, uh, the Disco Retro Vampire uh, House. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so there you go. So that's one of them. So the, to the two people that are still watching, uh, as I have been rambling on, I am going to get out of town. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, and I uh, will talk to you guys later.